I want to take you on a journey to hiring success. And so we're going to start with a little exercise together. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. Close your eyes. Everybody, I don't want to see anyone. Close your eyes. And think about the last time you hired somebody on your team that was amazing. Think about that person. Who's that person? Find a name. Think about what it did to your team, what it did to you, the projects you were achieving together, to your mission, to yourself. Let that feeling soak in. Feels good, right? Well, that feeling is called hiring success. And it is very clear that who you hire defines everything. It defines your ability to sell, to service, to innovate, to win or lose. Actually, it defines you as a leader. And the world's best leader know this very, very well. And they invest considerable amount of time and efforts in making sure they have the best people on their team. Unfortunately, in many organizations, recruiting is still a back office process, an admin workflow where applicants are tracked or most often ignored in a somewhat cheap and automated fashion that actually frustrates everybody, the candidates, the managers, and it's highly inefficient for organizations. Why is that? And actually, at the market level, the labor market itself doesn't function properly. It is so bad, and we're so bad at connecting people to jobs that in 2010, Professor Mortensen and two other scientists got a Nobel Prize, a Nobel Prize for measuring friction in the labor market. That's how bad historically the labor market has been. Now, luckily, this is changing, right? Online platform such as LinkedIn or Google or smart recruiters are now able to connect people around the world. Millions of jobs, millions of people get connected in real time. The power of technology is actually making the market a lot more transparent, a lot more effective than it has ever been. Our good old resume is now becoming a digital profile soon enough with all of our skills, all of our experience, education, recommendation, everything, all nicely protected by the blockchain and available only to the people and the company we choose to. And that's, of course, an amazing ground for machine learning algorithm who are able to sift through millions or hundreds of millions of profiles and jobs and make more and more accurate job recommendations. And how long before each of us here has a personal AI headhunter who uh, is aware of all the jobs that there is around in our industry and never has a bad day and goes around and com comes back with suggestion and, and actually why not apply on our behalf? The impact of online talent platforms on the overall uh, economy and the labor market has actually been quantified by McKinsey who says that the increase of efficiency in the labor market could be creating as much as 72 million new jobs, 2.7 trillion of uh, global GDP increase. That's obviously great news as we improve our ability to connect people to jobs. But for companies, what that means is we are now in the talent economy. And in the talent economy, ideas and money are cheap, and people are the scarce and sought-after resource that all companies are fighting for. In the talent economy, hiring is success. The ability to attract, select, and hire amazing talent is what divides winners from losers. And obviously, that poses a large challenge to the old-school recruiting function that is now has to come up and become a full-blown marketing uh, function. Because in the world of, in the talent economy, 
brands compete for talent as much as they do for consumers or for investors. So the employer brand becomes a bigger part of how companies are going to market. In this talent economy, recruiting becomes a digital function, a digital marketing function, where campaigns and channels and conversions are all optimized, where the, the candidate is the customer, and where the, the technology stack that you use is no longer some outdated ATS applicant tracking system where you know, resumes are, are tracked in some form of automated way. It's actually a full-blown talent acquisition suite that allows you to attract, select, and hire amazing talent, and that actually leverages machine learning and AI to learn what you are doing, where are the successful candidates coming from, what proper profile uh, are being hired, and is able to predict success, to help you find candidates, to discover people inside your own company, for that matter, or outside on the market, and to predict properly which ones you should be engaging. In that new world order, the director of staffing uh, is now replaced by a VP of hiring success. The whole recruiting function gets elevated to a fairly strategic function because they are actually in charge of attracting and hiring the right talent on demand. The metrics, the KPIs that uh, recruiting uses is no longer faster, cheaper. They start to think about quality, about output and they measure hiring success with a net hiring score, just like you measure customer success with a NPS, with a net promoter score. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much of a fit are uh, the hires we made? And that drive to quality, that drive to a, a better outcome of hiring, away from the administrative processing, HR, you know, somewhere between expenses and benefits, into more of a value-add function drives better hiring practices. And with those better hiring practices also comes more transparency and better decision-making processes, better selection processes, and finally, a removal of bias, which has been uh, bothering recruiting for way, way too long as recruiting is happening behind closed doors based on resumes, the transparency and the up-leveling of the recruiting function actually allows us finally to look at we are hiring the people who are the best for the job and not the ones that are our best friends or the ones we play golf with or whatever other reasons we might, uh, we might actually find. And that drive for better practices and more diversity in itself brings a much better performance for the organization. And so, in the world of hiring success, businesses who are able to transform themselves to attract, select, and hire the best talent are going to win. People who actually have more opportunities are facing a labor market that is a lot more open, a lot more fluid, a, lit, a lot more transparent, actually have a better uh, opportunity as well and a better outcome. And collectively, as the McKinsey research uh, suggests, we create more output and better output for the economy. So when we think about what is the future of work, I would, uh, I would say quite simply, when you think about it, the future of work for us, for a human being, should be good work. Today, 37% of Western uh, population would like a job that's more challenging, right? 37% of us are like, yeah, my job is not really great. I love a new job. Now, does that job not exist, or did I just not find it, or did the job not find me? But I think the future of work through better increased labor market efficiency is actually a much better uh, job and a much better match between my skills and the job. For companies, the future of work is hiring success. The future of work is the ability to hire better talent than your competitor. 
if really we are going to compete purely on the basis of who has the best team, which frankly we already are in many, many ways, whether you are a startup and you're competing with Google or you're a Fortune 500 trying not to be disrupted or whoever you are, your ability to hire amazing talent today is actually what defines your, your long-term success. And ultimately, the businesses and the people getting together in a better way means a better outcome for everyone, especially for us as managers. So next time you are hiring someone, facing, um, facing a job opening, just think about uh, that uh, simple statement, uh, you are who you hire. Thank you.